we will show you how to add this turning tool holder to your intermediate tooling library. Let's first talk about the machine type. It is a single turret twin spindle horizontal lathe and this tool block can work on the front and the back side of the turret. Step number one, import your solid model of your tool block. Step number two, orient the solid model to the XY plane. Make sure that the orientation point is at X0, Y0, Z0. If this is inaccurate, it will cause performance problems with your tool block in your lathe. The next step is create the insert attachment point. The insert attachment point is where the tip of the insert would be if there were no tool holder in this tool block. In this case, this is at Y0, and it doesn't matter where the X and Z are, but I put the Z at the front of the tool block, that way I can set my stick out length. Now, so we've created the tool attachment point. We now decree to create a tool attach coordinate system. It's the same orientation as the XY plane. It's just out here where the tip of the insert is. The next step is to open tool block library. Select the correct tool block library that you want to add this to and let's select edit library. Next we are going to select the solid model. Check the name of the solid model before we start pushing any more buttons. Make sure that the tool attach coordinate system is active. Right click, add child, attachment. We'll call this RH turning. Okay. Now, GibbsCam needs to know where this point is from this coordinate system. So while in the tool attach coordinate system, we will press this button marked from current CS. It takes this distance and plugs it into here so that GibbsCam knows where to put the tool in relationship to the tool block. Remember, the Y must always be zero. If it's not zero and you go to index the tool, it will index into position, but if it's off any distance in the Y, the Y will move to zero to compensate for that, which would give us a situation that we don't want. Next, right click the attachment node and add the simulation body, which is this same body. Press OK. And we may now press the Add button. GibbsCam will go through a number of macros automatically. It doesn't require anything on your part. And when it's done, you may select whether this is a single orientation tool, in other words, pointing towards the main spindle, or is this a multiple orientation tool? Can it point towards the main spindle and the subspindle? Let's say that it does, and let's turn on multiple orientations, set multiple orientations to two, and press refresh. Once this tool block refreshes, we can now go to our part file and add this tool block. In the next video, we will show you how to do that.